Hello everyone. Whew. Today is Sunday. We made it. My weekend has started and ended on a Sunday because <laughs> I do have to work on Monday. But I got through the work week last week. Um, I updated you guys on my debt. That's awesome. I'm really excited for 2020. A new year, fresh start. I can't wait to get out of debt, y'all. Now, I will say in 2019, there were a couple of things that caused me not to be as much out of debt as I would like. I had two different car repairs, two. Um, very hefty, probably roughly almost around, what, 1,500. Ooh, probably like 2,000. I forgot. I'm going to do a breakdown and a recap of 2019 with my finances. Um, you guys know I went on <laughs> a vacation to the Bahamas. It did not turn out and we vlogged. We did like mini videos, me and my nieces. We did like mini videos. So that was a setback as well, but it was an okay setback um, where you guys know I had to pay a little bit more out of pocket <laughs> because the place that we were supposed to stay at no, it did not work out. So we ended up staying at the Atlantis. And yeah, it cost a little bit more money, y'all. Uh, um, so yeah. Uh, so those were some setbacks. And I had to build up my emergency fund like twice. Twice. I filled it up thanks to YouTube income before the year ended. So these are little small accomplishments. But the reason why I'm really here is because she's not my girl. I want to say my girl, but she's not my girl. <laughs> um, but um, Orlando Coupon Queen. Orlando and then Coupon. Q-P-O-N Queen. Now I'm going to link her video down below. You guys know I mentioned her before about the Publix and that dog food and uh, the Viva. Uh, paper towel so I you know I always like to put you guys on to different I like to give credit where it's due right and her video one of her recent videos is blowing up blowing up has over a half a million um like over 500,000 views so my whole thing is it's about Ross it's about Ross y'all if y'all have a Ross Ross dress for less like department store it's like a Marshalls and TJ Maxx but it's Ross if you have one in your area come January I think she said the third week of January most of the store will be marked down because at Ross um their new year starts over in February okay so they're trying to get out with the old and with the new you know um so I'm going to link her video down below and I'm really interested because you guys know I'm not really doing much couponing now in regards to like household things or anything like that because I don't need it. So I'm using my money, putting my money where it's going to be more useful, whether it's saving up or putting towards our vacation to Tennessee. So um, I want some new clothes. I do. My son, he doesn't need any new clothes, but I want some new clothes. And you guys know we have our maintenance fund. And my whole thing, after seeing that video, I'm like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try it. I'm going to try and go. Um, but I'm going to link it down below. I mean, you guys can get quite a bit of things. Now, of course, people still shop after the holidays. Like Kimbo. Kimbo, K-I-M-B-L-E. She is here on YouTube, and she has been hitting up, <laughs> uh, what is it, <sighs> Bath and Body Works. Now, I don't need, like, any candles or anything, but, man, I be watching people videos, and I'm like, ooh, Candace, you sure you don't need a candle or two? <laughs> Give me a second, y'all. <sighs> but, yeah, um... Everybody's shopping, and I'm just like, man, here I am trying that new new life, new life of no shopping, no couponing. I'm not saying I won't go couponing. I'm not saying that, y'all. 
But my whole thing is I'm not going to spend money just to spend money. I'm not going to coupon for things that I don't need because I am not really stocking up anymore to give away or, you know, for myself. I have more than enough. And at the end of the day, my family is me and Jamez. And if I have at, um, additional stuff that I can give away, I will still do that, you know. But, yeah, Kimbo, she out here getting stuff. And I'm like, man, because you guys know I don't celebrate the holidays. So my whole thing always has been to go to the stores after the holidays are over and get things for dumb cheap for me and my son. You know, it's like a gift for me and my son at half the price that everybody else goes for. <laughs> and I haven't been to the stores because really, y'all, I haven't been feeling the best. Um, but that's another story. I haven't been feeling the best and yeah, it's just like, oh my goodness. I, I was watching some people's um like Shore Mama couponers, Dawn's Deals, um, who else? Coupon for Life. She's on here. Jasmine Garcia. Meeks I said Meeks Coupon Life, yeah. These people, they were, you know, doing Dollar General deals yesterday. And I'm just like, I don't need to spend, like, you know, any money at all. But, I mean, they're good deals. So, I know when my when my stockpile starts to dwindle down, I'm going to go back full force <laughs> later. But my main focus right now is to definitely get out of debt and do what I have to do. Y'all, y'all, I'm... Please, please look at, it's not like she need any more views, but you guys know I'm, <laughs> I'm not biased to say, oh man, she's blowing up. No, it's because she provides awesome information and that's why that video is almost at a half a million views, over a half a million views. Um, but yeah, check it out. I mean, there's going to be, if you have a couple dollars to spare, I I will have more than a couple dollars to spare. And I'm just hoping that my Ross will have some offers and pay close attention. It's just like, you know, when you go penny shopping at Dollar General, you don't show uh, the video to um, the store. She goes through all of that, you know, just like how Krista Coupons and OCC Gang um, Girl does it. You don't want to... She goes into all of that, the etiquette of <laughs> getting the clearance things. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness. I'm, I'm excited for 2020, y'all. But yeah, we're going to do a recap on my finances. I will say, at the end of the day, I am very proud of myself for everything that I did accomplish. Um, it was a well-rounded year for me. Um, yeah, I did have some setbacks, but we came back strong and we still paid over 9,000 worth of, um, debt towards debt, you know, so that's awesome. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I'm hoping, um, we'll be out of debt by the middle of the year. And also my, by the middle of the year, my bankruptcy will fall off. So Middle of 2019 is going to be huge, y'all. It's going to be huge for me. I don't know what I'm going to do. I do have some plans, but they're kind of like drastic. I'm not going to share those just yet because, you know, I got to pray about things. And, you know, if things change and go according to plan, so be it. I will still do that full face of makeup. <laughs> My son, is a, he said he can help me because, you know... He watched people and they do makeup videos sometimes. He's like, I know how to do makeup. I said, you do? So that would be a fun thing for me and him to do. I'm going to try to really get spruced up, y'all. I have a get-together to go to today. I didn't do my volunteer work this morning because I had a rough night, y'all. I've been having a horrible time with sleeping. Y'all already know this. Um, I made me some coffee which does have caffeine because I'm just trying to use up what I have, y'all. And it's not even just, I'm not getting the jitters from this. Like, I could feel my body getting worked up from having the caffeine, but 
I have it so early in the day that it should not affect me at nighttime. And I just know why I'm, you guys know seasonal depression has me not falling asleep properly. Um, the meds are not working like they did the first couple of times. I, as I mentioned before, once I get to sleep with the meds, I'm good. But getting to sleep, that's the issue. Um, but yeah, um, check her video out. Orlando Coupon Queen. I'm going to link her video down below. I will still continue to watch y'all. Um, I will say that going into the new year, I want to focus more on getting stuff done around the house. Um, you know... This really focusing like dishes are piled up back there. The laundry is ridiculous. Like I still haven't done our bedding and I have to get that done. But on top of that, all of these clothes, where did all these clothes come from? I just cleaned all the clothes. So why do we have piles on piles on piles of clothes? You know what? It's because my son changes up like two to three times a day and he puts everything in the dirty clothes. You know what? Never buy your kids too many clothes, y'all. Don't. Don't. You know, he's the only child. He is not spoiled at all. But I'm just like, kid, kid. He he got he knows fashion, right? He got skills in that area. But I'm just like, to change up your clothes that many times and then put them in the dirty clothes. So I told myself, Candace, when you get paid again, I think I know for a fact I'm going to put more money in my laundry um, hold on, y'all. Let me bring you upstairs. I do have to put another load in. Hi, baby. Hi, Noni. Hi, Noni. Hi. So you want to say hi? You looking at me? Hmm? You want to say hi to people? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Like... I'm going to try to get as many clothes as done, many clothes done as possible in my mini washer, y'all, because I should have been staying on top of it, but you guys know it's been rough. So, yeah. Okay, we are in my bathroom, and yeah, let me get this stuff done. Talk to you guys soon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye.